Since the world began, only one thing could satisfy man's appetite for progress. One thing kept our ancestors from carnage and catastrophe. One thing fueled us from simple apes to the great apex of planet Earth. And that one thing was none other than the classic taste of baked beans. Now with 15% more beans, the best food for the hardworking employee, diligent student, relaxed retiree, dad at the club, busy mother of five, successful CEO, average Joe with the budget, you too can dine at the days of old. Locally important to your friends at Congo Court. Unlike that garbage sold by sleazy salamanders, beans do not actually change your clothes. Bean percentages may vary by 20 to 25 percent. Congo Corporation claims no responsibility for any congestion, inflammation, combustion, or death directly or indirectly due to Congo Corp baked beans. Beans and cans sold separately. Only consume as specifically specified. Please report to Congo's office. Well, have you to see? Why, if it isn't the employee of the month, Jared, how have you been? Swell. Having a productive day, boss? Eh, it's alright. Not bad. That's good. Well, I've put together the plan like you asked, but it would be useful if I knew what our objective was. Look, Jared, I don't like making use of your less than legal department in this business. Yes. If there was ever a need for your expertise, it'd be about now. A mole from Sleazy Salamander has caught wind of a new product being released. It's a long story. I've got time. Take a look at this. They call it berry extract. Combine this with any sleazy salamander product and it gains massively improved flavor, predicting a 99% return on customer rate for only their products. They made even broccoli taste good? I know. I thought it couldn't be done. This gets out. They cut off all competition overnight. We have five days to release to the public. Your plan will work. Amol's information tells us the time and transportation of a sample of the extract. All we have to do is steal it and claim the trademark as our own. As is typical protocol, there are five separate transports moving the berry extract at a time. Luckily for us, protocol makes this whole process very simple. All I need to do is hijack their radios and all the decoys converge to protect the main transport. Attention fellow douchebags, please be warned that a risk has been detected to your mission. Do with this information what you will. That gives me about five minutes to swoop in there and steal the sample. And of course I tell witnesses that the previous event that yourself or others may or may not have experienced is the work of a singular independent individual. Any benefits that may have been gained by any persons, parties or organizations a result of actions that may or may not have been committed at this time are entirely coincidental. Any damages to property should not be attributed to any particular corporate organization, but rather made apparent to your local law enforcement agency, after which costs may be sourced from your paycheck. Thank you for your consideration and apologies from not Congo Corp for any inconvenience. Oh, come on, this is clearly Congo Corp. <laughs> no, and even if it was, we, they, have really good lawyers. Mm -hmm. What about witnesses? You won't have any. Yes, of course.
just for clarification, you do want me to, you know. Yes. Of course, just as a normal protocol. Yeah, but this is a special case. You don't want to take any risks. Of course, obviously. I mean, unless you don't want it. No, 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 no problem at all. You, you didn't see anything, right? You, you, you're all good. You're all good, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Job! Boss, I didn't know. Didn't I tell you to kill the driver? You could have saved this entire company, but that one driver just had to live. Well, it's not like he was going anywhere. Have you seen this? The berry extracts? No! They tracked you and replaced this real sample with cherry juice. Mr. Congo, it won't happen again. It's for you. Oh no, it's him. How have you been, old chum? Just peachy. Thanks, Victor. I just wanted to call you to let you know. It's, it's nothing, nothing personal. personal. Yeah, after all these years working against each other, you never failed to surprise me. But I suppose you just couldn't quite beat me this time. Maybe next time, for an enterprising man like yourself. Oh please, I can feel myself getting older. Did you write a whole victory speech for this? No, Jared, this is pure improv. Anyway, I just wanted to say, good game. Good game, my ass. Well, at least we've got this phone as evidence. Where were we? You're fired. But, boss, I, I've given everything to this company. You're fired. But you know how hard it is to find a job. I'll be homeless within a week. I You're still fired. You have 24 hours to sign all declarations of misbehavior and cancel all company dental plans. I'll get it sorted. Really? Because from what I've heard, you have a job. How'd you know? We all have our sources. Mold 
from Mammal the Sushi Show. Mammal tells us the time of transport. They call it berry now. extract. We all have our sources. Okay, boss, I got to thinking, right? And there's only a few people in Caesar Salamanders who'd actually know about the existence of the berry extract, who is our mole, who would be willing to help us about finding the location of the berry extract. And so I got to digging, and like I suspected, uh, assuming normal protocol is in place, with a few added extra layers, because of course this is a highly secretive project, then there's only a few select group of people who would actually know about the existence of the berry extract going from point A to point B. And the mole must be in either chemical engineering, economic management, or transport overseeing departments. Now here I'd be stuck if it wasn't for our good buddy Victor, whose phone call I could trace to- Get to the point. Right, well, okay, long story short, um, I believe that our mole is one of the chemical engineers attending a meeting in five hours, thanks to phone tracing, location approximation, and a, and a slight bit of calculus, so I could find where Victor's phone call was tracing from, and it appears that they are investigating subterfuge, which means that our mole must be one of the five chemical engineers, and Sleazy Salamander's catching on quickly, and if I can get in there first, I can get the mole and make them tell us how to make the berry extract. Hang on, you're suggesting we kidnap a salamander employee in broad daylight? Yes. And you're confident this plan could work? Positive. I suppose we could delay your unemployment for 72 hours. That's all I need. Well then, our team sir. Done. Your teammates is gonna be Coppin and Carl. Expert structure, exfiltrator, hacker, and not in people matters. Second, big money Ben. Specialized bruiser, impersonator, close range combatant, and continual user of the stock market. Okay, we all know what to do. If we get this phone into the meeting room, I can use my custom-made algorithm to identify the mole, and then we can snag him and bag him. So how do we get in? In disguise. Oh. Hey, Joe. Oh, I hardly recognize you. And neither will they. I'm approaching the meeting now. Be prepared to apprehend them all. Gotcha. Hello, I'm not late, am I? Mr. Nova, yes. Yep. Just on time. Lucky. Great. <clears throat> um, excuse me, we don't allow phones in our meetings. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is not gonna be good. I was under the impression we did, Miss... Monet, and no, it's department policy. That shouldn't be a problem, oh, is it? Oh, no, 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 no problem at all. I should hope not. <laughs> Follow me, Mr. Nova. <clears throat> Christ, we really needed that phone to identify the mole. What now? Ugh, guess what? Unlikely, but plausible. The meeting is discussing it. Maybe Jared can find it out? Good afternoon, fellow executives. Glad you all could make it today. Yes, indeed. Punctuality is important. Well, it wasn't easy. My construction workers are throwing a party. Those guys really raised the roof. <laughs> and thanks to our associate here for coming along. I believe he prepared a presentation for us. Lean over. What? You? Lee? Oh! Yes! 
<laughs> me, of course. That's the alias. Very funny, Ben. It is. Your presentation? Ah, yes, <laughs> my presentation on. Salamander finance. Yes, that spot on. Right. Um. <clears throat> sorry, I'll just. Uh, <clears throat> right. Yes. Uh, let me just uh, remember what I was gonna say. Remember what I was going to say? Alright, one second please. And there it is, okay. The last quarter has seen a 55% increase in... All salamander related uh, chemical supplements, but however, Conga Corp is still currently staying on top. Of the competition in this specific category. However, with the recent growth of the industrial sector and... Well, no way, double growth of specialty goods. A sudden spike in growth. Two specific sectors could theoretically uh, cut off Congo Corp's income almost entirely. But thanks to our new products that shall not be named. Um, in short, things are new. Yes, well, we all know why we're here. No point delaying the subject any further. Quite frankly, I don't know how much I actually buy into these rumours. Bad news, 4.5 o'clock, it's Victor. Uh-oh, he's here to check for the meeting. Oh, that's bad. I, I mean, sharing company secrets and all, I mean, what sort of employee does that? Jared, you got about one minute before it all hits the pad. I'll try to stall him. If there is a mole, they're likely in this room, right? It is too early to know for certain. No. We know that the mole is one of us. In fact, there's an agent on his way to arrest us right now. Sir, you wouldn't happen to know where the bathroom is, would you? Sorry, I don't, I don't work here. Mr. Snowman, where is this heading? Sharing a secret, Miss uh, Money. I wasn't sent here just to discuss the mole, but to catch them. I can you sure. Head straight for the meeting. If you're gonna do something, do it fast. Now, I don't want to alarm any of you, but if we can't figure out who the mole is before the agents get here, we will all be considered complicit. So, to our good friend the mole, please step forward and own up. Any ideas? Mr. Nova, we have no idea who it could have been. Really? No idea at all. Since none of you are running up, I actually have something to confess. I am the mole! What? You are? Yes! Oh my this good is good way! I need to hold out the sleazy salamander secrets, yeah, and quite frankly, I, I would do it again, I and... I have what I need. Thank you all. What is he doing? Get out! Oh, oh, hey, hey, calm down! I'll handle this, alright? Get out! Go! I don't handle it. The woman with glasses. She's the mole. Are you sure? Trust me. You get the mole, I'll lure away Victor. Send out the goons. You mean Bruiser Department? Yeah, sure, that. Whatever. Ben, mall at 32nd Avenue.
extract formula. It's all here, the extract it's No no no. Take it to 22nd Street North. Noted. Victor has the notes. Meet me at this address. Received. Their tone. You could have killed me at the car heist, but you didn't. Why not? Trust me, I tried. Speaking of, how did you survive that explosion? Explosion? From the bomb in your car. The bomb in my car. Yeah, no, I specifically remember you switching up the samples. Switching up the whole, samples? You know, plans. What are you talking wait, wait, about? Wait, 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 wait. What car was I driving? A Batonic CMV. Victor, you blew up the wrong car. Well, clearly not, because otherwise you wouldn't be here. Wait, then that means... We'll finish this later. Clever. Thank you. You know, I just wanted to bring you here so you'd know. It's nothing personal. Well, you tried. Shouldn't we finish the job? No need. You should listen to this guy. Well, this doesn't help. All the mole's notes are intelligible, and there's just funny pictures of fruit everywhere. But not just any fruit. It all makes sense now. Switching up the samples. Victor never swapped the samples. The extract that I got from the car heist was never messed with. Cherry juice. So the liquid that Mr. Congo thought had been swapped out and the very extract 
were in fact the same sample. This extract isn't made of berries, but instead one very specific fruit, cherries. Do you remember that that sample I recovered from Sissy Salamanders? All the cherries? Yeah, do you still have it? No, we threw it out. What? That was it. Hang on. They're making it with cherries? Yes. I hope you're going to get another. I will. Sir. <coughs> I've called regarding the recent heist of company property. I'm sure I don't need to remind you what's at stake here. Not to worry, sir. It's taken care of. It's just Congo Corps. Of course, we can't prove that. They do have very good lawyers. They do, but I've run into Geo before. Nothing I can't handle. Well, we can't have him ruining our plans. I'd love to hear your plan, which I'm sure you have. Well, you're right, Jared. Susie Salamander doesn't own any berry farms. However, they own one very large and substantial cherry farm near the main lab. Then that's where they're making it. The Peterson, Owens and Osborne farm. Get in, get the formula and get out. Let's do this. In my meeting with our friend Jared, I've managed to place a small check on him. Shouldn't we finish the job? No need. You should listen to this guy. Showing him en route to a cherry farm. Why he's going there is beyond me. He knows. Your tracker is correct. He must be stopped. Alright, well, knowing Jared, he'll infiltrate by disguise. The farm makes heavy use of manual labor, so I bet that'll be his method of choice for gaining access. Knowing Jared, he'll be looking for somewhere he isn't supposed to go. So all we, I, have to do is make one zone off limits and provide Joe just a small enough opening that I know he can't refuse. And then, we'll serve his head on a silver platter with sleazy sauce. Excellent. We expect no less here at Sleazy Silver Matters. I don't have all these for nothing. All of what, boss? These, obviously. The beautiful awards I have hung up on the wall behind me. I thought it would be much more apparent too. Oh, has my camera turned off again? Yes. Ah, it's been like this all morning, hasn't it? Why did anyone point this out? Oh well, I'll sort this out later. Do you know what's new? Keep that extract out of grubby little Congo crook hands. Oh, it wasn't the same time. Don't tell me how to do my job. Just be on your best behavior, mate. I heard they said you made Jack to check on the Jack Connors to use for Inspector, eh? Guys, follow my lead. This mission just got a whole lot easier. You think the inspector's gonna come check on us? Corporate never cares. Oh, quit, quit bugging with me, mate. I just need to go through the next six hours. No unauthorized drinks on the premises. Uh, hello? Oh, what a productive day we're having. Here you are, inspector. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, that's me. Inspection! So, I was hoping one of you gentlemen could point me in the direction of our new restricted product. Ah, oh, sure sir. This way please. Well that was easy. Wait a minute. They haven't seen any of the inspectors today. Jared? Jared, come on. Jared, come on. Jared. <laughs> Crikey, the security in this place is terrible. No guards or anything. Oh, sorry about that, sir. Uh, but you know, if your review is generous, it would be really appreciable. I don't want to lose my job or anything. For a bad review? Yes, sir. Seriously? They can fire you, just like that? Oh, yes, sir. Corporate's come on to work, and so they don't usually give us a second floor. I know the feeling. Organize this. All really needs security upgrade. Oh, work in progress, I guess. I 
I mean, it's all against these Salamander's protocol. There are definitely better departments. Why even work here? Oh, not exactly out of work. I'm sure it will get updated eventually. I'm guessing that's why those agents showed up earlier, right? Oh, you also know about it? I do now! prepared for transport overseas. You're too late. Cover me. I get you with the yeah ah oh. sorry about that it's all good rendezvous two hours mr sleazy to what do i owe the pleasure the pleasure is all mine just wanted to tell you your client isn't working. Is that all? I also wanted to offer you a deal. This product of mine doesn't need to be the end for you. 
We can split the profits if you're willing to, uh, how could you say it? Merge Combo Corp with sleazy salamanders? You know that's not happening. <sighs> of course not. Worth the try, I suppose. You just can't think of your employees, can you? Don't they deserve to have jobs? It's not under you. You never change, Congo. Well, I just wanted you to know. It's nothing, it's nothing personal. personal. Oh, so we got to mention. Your camera's off. Damn it! All right. Great. I think we all know what we need to do now. Yep. Uh, base is that way. Yeah, I know. The only dock for the next like hundred of kilometers is this way. And Victor said the formula was being shipped overseas. Jared, we're going back to base. But, but the berry extract releases in 22 hours. If we don't- We know. I'd rather be fired than die for some stupid non-berry extract. Guys, listen to the employee of the month. This is about more than just our jobs. Yeah, it's about fixing your screw up. Come on, Jared, just let it be. They've won. They win if you give up. Get lost! I only need one person for this plan. Full of surprises. Don't. 157 milliseconds. That's how fast I can kill you. Twice as fast as the human eye can blink. You just don't give up, do you? Mr. Sleazy, the dipstick CEO himself. No, we don't need to settle this with violence. We're civilized. Well, come on, give the man the seat. Bit of a new experience. We don't usually talk with, uh, how do you say, uh, live Congo Corp agents. Uh, Congo Corp? I've never heard of that company. Right, oh yes. Oswald Deniability, correct? Right, uh... Oh, 
Don't worry, I've got him. I've got him. The previous event that yourself or others may or may not have experienced is the work of a singular independent individual. Yada 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 yada. Uh, so, a nice thank you at the end. How polite. Is that it? What do you want? To the point. Nice. I'm sure you're aware of our new product. Ah, uh, yes, the berry. Or should I say, cherry extracts? <gasps> so you know. Impressive. Most impressive. I have to say, you're smarter than you look. Almost like a SIM card or a micro SD. Half the size, but double the brain capacity. Well, Jared, I can call you that, right? I have an offer for you. I want you to replace Charlie. Who's Charlie? Mr. Congo. If he gets his hands on that formula, he'll be doing nothing but stuffing his pockets. We can't have that, can we? As long as you aren't. Really, Jared? I'd expect this from any Congo called Blackie, but you, you're different. You're the employee of the month. I'm willing to bet that you and I could work together, even help each other. It's his teammates. Thing but sharing an office with you, quite frankly. Sleazy salamanders will never win. It can't be all you want. You want to keep people employed, keep people fed, keep people alive. It's the same thing you and I want. You know, we have more in common than you might think. We have nothing in common. And no one's buying your cheap excuse for a product. Who? Hey, shut it. Oh, it talks. Oh, Joe. No need for violence. Oh. formula. Now. Oh, plastic, of course. Why wouldn't it be plastic? You want this? Let's put Hey! I'll do it! Hey, don't do anything stupid! I'll never let Congo Corp win. to make. I had a job to do. Me too. And you took it away from me. You're not leaving with that formula or your head. Let's finish this, huh? Me and you. Let's.
You know, it's nothing. Don't say it. Just finish the job. Congo. Boss, I, I got I got it. I have the I have the extract. The formula. I have the formula for the extract. We still have three hours to claim the trademark as our own. Mr. Mr. Congo! Sir, boss? Jared! Jared! You did it! Mr. Sleazy, he's dead! No, no important! The extract! Oh Jared. Don't worry about the extract. We won't be needing it. But I thought... Don't you see, my boy? Without Mr. Sleazy, there's no Sleazy Salamanders. You've given this company its greatest gift. Superiority. No one can challenge us again. We don't even need to try anymore. Who will stop us? The customers will know. It was never about the customers. Or the products, or the sales. It was about one thing winning. And now, thanks to you, we have completely and totally. But you, you. I don't need it anymore. Right? Always this quick thinker you were. I hope you know that if I don't do this, someone else will. I hope we have more employees like you. But your usefulness is over. It's nothing, nothing personal. personal.